So I've got six fat quarters layered here. I'm gonna put the messiest edge out here, out on the sides. Cut the first cut just cleaning this up. Then I'm gonna cut one six inch strip. I clean up the side. So we're gonna cut this and we're gonna cut this and we're gonna do that three times. So we have our six inch blocks and we're gonna take these six inch squares and we're going to turn each of these pairs of six inch squares into eight half square triangles. I'm gonna use my six by 12 ruler and my handy dandy friction pen with the monkeys on it. And I'm gonna show you which lines you need to mark and how we're gonna sew it. First, we're gonna mark a line down the middle from top to bottom and right to left. We're gonna mark a line from corner to corner. Now I'm gonna to go to my machine and I'm gonna sew both sides of this line and this line, not the straight up and down lines. So I used my quarter inch piecing foot, ran it right along the line and stitched a quarter inch to either side. Okay, see that there? Then you can do this with scissors or you can do it with your ruler and your rotary cutter. We're just gonna cut along the line, both directions. Then we're gonna cut along the straight lines top to bottom. So now we have eight half square triangles. We're going to choose a direction to press them to. I try to decide which one seems darker. Um, on this set, I'll probably press them towards the pink, depending on how they matched up, because I matched them all differently. Okay, these two I haven't put together yet. But pick a direction on, on whatever color combination you have and consistently press toward that side. So now I have eight half square triangles. One at a time, I'm gonna trim them down using my handy dandy two inch finished block lock triangle trimmer. The secret to this is that the block lock logo goes on the low side. So since we pressed toward the pink, the logo is gonna go on the low side. The other thing to look for is that your dog ears are lining up with the groove. I'm gonna trim these down to a perfect two and a half inch square. So now we have eight perfect little half square triangles and some really fun quilter spaghetti. So again, not a lot of waste in this technique, but perfect triangles. 